My name is Klaus Tietke and I'm a wildlife fine art photographer. I would like to share my top 10 photography tips with you. Just write down the story. Because every wonderful picture has a story. So write it down. What happened before, during and after it. And share it. Share it with your audience. This is very important. Spirit of discovery captured here exactly at this location. Tip number two. You have to practice patience. Patience, patience. can take days to take the right picture. Patience is very important. I mean, you have to be comfortable with this. I mean, just put yourself in a nice position. You can have some cookies or some tea, just to relax, but be prepared. If they jump up, I mean, you must jump up. Tip number three, very important. Respect the animals, be quiet, give them space, don't make movements too quick. Very easily you can destroy a nice picture by quick, hectic movements. Tip number four is the light. I mean, morning light and evening light, obviously, is the best light, it's fantastic. That's why we left this morning at 5 o'clock. Tip number five, very simple, but very, very important. Just back up your files. When you come back from the safari, put it on one hard drive and on an extra hard drive so that you have at least two backups and also Try to keep them separate, not in the one bag, just one, hide them in a tent somewhere and the other one is always with you. Another very important tip is just shoot for yourself. I mean, you should enjoy it. You should enjoy your work. Don't, I mean, I understand that there's always a lot of pressure and, and time pressure especially because the sun is setting in five minutes, you must do this, but the result will show when you enjoy it and when you're inspired by, by your heart. Tip number seven, capture the habitat. Here I shot a nice picture which actually shows the whole scenery. I mean, you have lots of different layers, foreground, background, and it, it shows it all. With wildlife photography, it's not always only about the animal. Sometimes it's also quite important to include the habitat, the landscape. Here is the river or a tree or just the, the grass with some clouds. Where do they sleep? Where do they live? Where do they eat? Where they hunt? This is important for some pictures. Tip 8. The angle to the subject for me is very important. I want to have a low angle. I want to be in eye line at least with a line or if possible even lower. How do you do this? You have to go out of the car or you have to open the door and get low as low as possible. Tip number nine, bean bag. I trust in my bean bags. I prefer them much more than any other tripod because sometimes you have to jump from down here, up here or on the roof or quickly or to the other side. And with a bean bag, it's very easy and quick. Tip 10. My last tip for this episode, don't sit around and wait for inspiration, just go out. Just go out and it doesn't matter what the weather is, if it's sunny, if it's cloudy, if it, even if it's rainy, I mean, it just makes it more um, spannend, uh, exciting and just learn out of all these things. Na? I mean, just go out, don't wait for inspiration. I mean, a bonus tip definitely is the guide. I mean, the guide is, is, is worth a lot. 
if he knows the area and if he's well could connect it with all the other guides and if he know how to drive 4x4 I mean this is half of the luck with the photography 